Hi, Ed Thorne here. The difference in sound you've just heard has been created by adding saturation to my mix bus using the brand new Waves BB Tube Saturation plugin. But what is tube saturation? Tube saturation occurs when the diodes in a tube are electronically saturated and no more electrons can travel from the tube's cathode to the tube's anode due to a positive charge in the grid between the two components. Its output then becomes non-linear to the input, i.e. lower, resulting in a subtle soft knee style compression, often referred to as soft clipping. This alters the shape of the sound wave, causing small spikes in amplitude at multiples of fundamental frequencies. These are known as harmonic distortions. Most saturators, including the transistors found in solid state amplifiers or preamps, or tape machines like the J37 here, primarily introduce odd order harmonics, the third and fifth multiples of a frequency. For example, 3 kHz and 5 kHz spikes, as you can see here, when our first order or fundamental frequency is 1 kHz. These typically make audio sound brighter and more defined and can be distinguishable as gritty and potentially aggressive distortions. A tube saturator mostly emphasizes even order harmonics, the second and fourth multiples, but primarily the second, as you can see here, 2 kHz is very prominent. Now the keen-eyed amongst you will have spotted third and fourth harmonics in this example, but at minus 125 and 175 decibels respectively, I dare say these will be inaudible. This type of saturation typically produces a more subtle, rounded sound and a general thickening of the audio, which I think you'll have heard in the introduction. The question is, does this new plugin from Waves impose the soft clipping and second harmonics we've just discussed? Before analyzing this plugin in Plugin Doctor, let's review some of the features. As always with Waves plugins, we have celebrity mix engineer presets, in this case from Greg Wells and Yo Nevo. The ability to swap between two settings for A-B comparison. Oversampling up to eight times. Sensitivity is how much headroom there is before saturation is introduced. Bass relief is a low pass filter shelf from 500Hz down, allowing you to control how much low end is hitting the saturator, giving you the option of saturating the whole mix or just higher frequencies. An additional transformer circuit is available, gently bumping the low end for a fuller, warmer sound. We have a high frequency dial for the input and output tone and a dry wet mix knob for parallel saturation so you can go extreme on the settings and then dial it into taste. The main events are of course the beauty and the beast knobs. Beauty is for more subtle harmonic saturation, soft clipping, compression and mix glue. Beast takes over from beauty with more immediate and heavier distortion and blending the two gives you unlimited saturation potential. Here there are two saturation circuit emulations to choose from, offering different compression knee settings, with A being harder and B being softer, resulting in a little more bass and heavy crunch sound to my ears. Let's say this in practice on some different instruments.
hear how Waves plugin compared to Universal Audio plugins in this video, or YouTube will suggest something you'll like over here. I've been Ed Thorne. Thanks for watching.